Ladies, welcome to The Feminine Mystery. My name is Azalea Dawn, and on my channel, I talk about leveling up, femininity, elegance, and everything you need to attract the right masculine provider for you. If any of that sounds right for you, then please check out the rest of the videos on my channel and subscribe if you like it. Today's topic is going to be all about the princess treatment, right? Allowing a man to prove his love to you through the way that he treats you. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I think that the princess treatment is seen in our community as something that is aspirational, maybe, or maybe it's seen among women dating men as a whole as aspirational, right? But really, it should be something that is the default. It should be what you assume is going to happen because this is the way that you deserve to be treated and you just need to allow a man to show you that this is how he can treat you. So I want to give you a few tips and pointers for taking something from an aspiration to an assumption for you and letting this become the normal way for you to be treated in a relationship. So if that sounds right for you, let's get into it. Now, my first tip is that allowing a man to provide is different than needing him to provide for you. Now, I think that one of the uh, limiting beliefs that some women have is that when you rely on a man to provide for you, that, that somehow makes you a gold digger. It makes you somebody who is uh, dependent on a man. But there is a very big difference, honestly. There are a lot of women who, for example, are from like third world countries or countries in like, you know, Eastern Europe, maybe like Russia, not to get like political or anything. I'm just saying like a lot of people from these places have hard lives. They have soul crushing poverty and the women who come from these circumstances, they have learned through their difficult lives that their beauty is their one ticket out of their circumstances. They didn't have education. They didn't go to college. They don't have a degree. They don't have any like job skills. There was no economy around them even to buy their way out of their situation. They couldn't work to do this um, in any way way so they have to rely on a man to rescue them it just is their only hope in the world and a lot of these women they end up in places like dubai or monaco or whatever and they are just you know like known gold diggers they bounce from man to man because like these men are the only thing that keeps them in these affluent lifestyles but in the united states in particular a lot of women here are very very different we are in the U u.s at least like a lot of women are are outpacing men in terms of college graduation they're outpacing men in terms of career advancement like they are just doing better for themselves period so when you are in some place like the United States like especially and you're somebody who like you have an entirely different life from one of these women you went to college you have you know a skill like maybe you majored in like advertising marketing or like you're an engineer or like maybe you work in like I don't know like retail or something like that retail and business like whatever you do obviously you have a career obviously you can earn money for yourself because that's what you're doing <laughs> like you work everybody knows that you work and it is just not even the same or even like remotely related to the kind of person who just like all they can do for money is have a man like that's it like if they don't have a man they don't have money that is a very big difference Friends, so you should really like separate yourself from somebody who needs right who needs financial support from a man and put yourself in the category of somebody who desires it that is your value that's how you want to live not how you have to live if a man stops providing for you you have a degree you have work experience you have you know an entire career to fall back on whereas a lot of these girls if a man like dumps them they're basically on the streets like that is what it is so there's a very big difference there and i would just you know like not confuse the two if that's not your situation 
Now the next mindset shift that I would suggest that you make is to allow a man to show you how he can treat you, right? So a lot of times in our culture, like we live in a culture, at least in the United States, where women are becoming more like men and men are becoming more like women. And you really want to like step back into your feminine energy here. Let men show you what they can do for you. Let men take the lead in how it is that they're going to treat you. You get to set the tone in your relationship. Yes, like you get to set the expectations, right? You get to set the standard of what you think is nice, what you're impressed by. But at the end of the day, it's up to a man to rise to those expectations. And let me tell you something, a lot of men, they thrive in that kind of environment. A lot of men who are very accessible are high achievers. They like high standards and they actively seek out women with high standards because they want to work to impress them. They want to put in that work to really earn something that is not easy to get. That's why a lot of people, you know, they play sports, they participate in competitions. They might just be like competitive even with like board games. They like to work hard in order to win. That's a very masculine trait. And when your approval is not something that is so easy to come by, when you are somebody who maybe has had a different background in life, maybe who just has like higher expectations, maybe you were raised very well, well, maybe you were raised from like an affluent background. That's why men like that because they want to work to prove themselves to meet those expectations. So you just want to allow a man to take the lead in that department. Don't like show up to like a first date like, oh, how much money do you make? Oh, I don't think that you can afford my lifestyle. Mm, I don't know that you can like really like, can you really like, are you up to the challenge? Like, can you deliver on what I expect of you? Don't like approach something in such like a masculine way. Just, you know, show up and be passive. Allow things to happen. Allow him to show you how that he, how he can surprise and delight you in life. Now the next mind shift, uh, the next mindset shift, excuse me, is a big one. And that is that you've already proven yourself. By the time a guy has approached you, by the time an affluent, successful, you know, a high value in the literal sense, right? I'm not talking about high value as defined by incels. We're talking high value, like high net worth, <laughs> right? High amount of cash in the bank. By the time like a very successful man like that is approaching you, he already knows that you are worth it. He already knows that he wants you and he knows why he wants you. Men are not indecisive by nature, especially masculine men. They are, whether you believe in nature or nurture, right? If they're either by nature very decisive or they are raised from a very young age in our culture to be decisive. And successful men even more so, they need to be decision makers and agile decision makers. People who are able to take information that they have available to them and make a decision and not waffle back and forth on that decision because that makes you seem weak, right? And that's not going to work if you are somebody who really has like a powerful career, a powerful, you know, like status in like a business or something like that. So they already have that trait. They already have that characteristic and that is what they have going on by the time they approach you. So by the time a guy is even like interested in you, he's already done his recon. He already has information information about you, which is why I say the power of your reputation is so, so, so important. If you really want to level up and be in a high programs relationship with a really successful guy, your reputation is everything because that's going to speak for you before you can speak for yourself. But by the time like he's there, he's not there to waste his time. He's not going to show up and like start to ask you, oh, what do you bring to the table? Why would he be there if he doesn't know why he wants you there? <laughs> Why would he be with you if he doesn't already know why he wants you? Men who are really successful are not, you know, time wasters. They're not there to waste your time and they're not there to waste their own time. They have a purpose, they're guided by a vision, and they already know what they want. 
Finally, ladies, I suggest that you start to practice the law of assumption. Now, if you haven't heard of this before, the law of assumption is very different from like an affirmation or like the laws of like positive thinking, whatever, right? The law of assumption is like, imagine if you are at a restaurant, you place your order with the waiter and then you don't worry about anything because you just assume that the food is coming, right? Like you've placed your order and then like once you've handed back the menus or whatever, <laughs> right? Like you just don't worry about it. You just sit there with your partner and you have a conversation because you are not like concerned about like where the food is coming or if the food is going to be good or if the food is going to be what you said it is or like, you know, like whatever, like it's not your problem anymore. It's out of your hands. The food is coming in the same way. When it comes to the law of assumption in your relationships, you want to assume that men are there to treat you well, right? You don't want to come into something already thinking negative like oh is he gonna do this is he gonna do that i have to make sure that he does this this way or does this that way right again like you want to let him take the lead and just assume that he is going to treat you well because you are worth treating well why wouldn't a man treat you well let me tell you something in my day-to-day -day life like even men that i am not married to i don't even know like that you know even men that are just like straight up gay like i will go there i will go places with men and i don't like try to open the door the door is held open for me i don't know what else to say the door is just held open every single time and i just expect it to happen and it happens i don't pay for checks like even in like platonic relationships and god knows i don't look poor <laughs> let me tell you something i am really out here <laughs> being a little ostentatious in my day-to-day -day life i love my chanel classic flap let me tell you and um like yeah we will be like uh, just going somewhere as like platonic friends and men still buy the check like they still like get the check like no questions asked i don't pretend to get the check i don't offer to split things 50 50 they just get the check and i am still being you know invited out left and right in my social life and all of this is outside of my marriage these are men i am not having sex with men who may not even want to have you know sex with a woman period <laughs> right they can just feel my energy they understand what needs to happen and they are just you know living up to that expectation because this is how i assume that other people are going to treat me this is literally just how i'm used to being treated in life and that is the energy that you want to start to have in your own life because a lot of times like i see women who are just like oh like they have like so much trouble like receiving things and like when somebody like tries to give them something now they're trying to like give it back or they're trying to get rid of it or they're trying to like do something back for this person because they don't assume that other people are just going to treat them well and you don't want to be one of those women you want to be somebody who just assumes that people period and especially men that you're entering a romantic relationship with right you want to assume that those people want to treat you well and with that that's going to be it for me today ladies if you have enjoyed this video then please leave a like below i have been talking for so long my voice is over it's it's calling it quits for today so i will see you in my next video and until then i'll bid you goodbye <laughs>